Hey, good morning. Welcome to the book of Exodus. We're at Exodus chapter 14 today, verses 11 and 12. Here's the reading. Then they said to Moses, Is it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you dealt with us in this way, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we spoke to you in Egypt, saying, Leave us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. I always think of Moses uh, not really as the great prophet, although he is not only as a great leader, but he is. But I always think of him, in my mind, it's very clear, uh, he's Pastor Moses. He's Pastor Moses. He is the leader of this uh, quite a, a difficult flock of sheep. And yes, I've been pastoring for about three decades, so I think of him as Pastor Moses. And over the years, uh, people, I've heard a lot of complaints and moaning. I, I myself have perhaps put a few complaints and moanings together as well. But, uh, but here we have these people and it's all moaning, you know, we're going to die now. We shouldn't have left here. We should have stayed in bondage. And now, you know, this situation is imminent. And, and Moses, it's all your fault. We're going to blame the leaders. And uh, sometimes the pastors get blamed. Uh, sometimes the pastors are to blame for, for many errors that a church makes. That is, there's a truth there. Uh, in this case, though, God has simply directed Moses, and Moses has simply been a good pastor, and Moses has pastored the people and brought them all this far out of Egyptian bondage up to the edge of the Red Sea. And it seems like uh, we're stuck here. Well, see me tomorrow morning. But but notice here, the people are, uh, they're not exercising faith. And they are exercising the, the, the flesh. They are in this mode of destruction. They were just about ready to, be to, to stone Moses and the other leaders here uh, because now, and they're ready to go back to Egypt. Let's go back to bondage. We should have never left bondage. We should have just stayed in bondage, you know, where we could get a couple of pieces of food and, and just kind of live our life under the, under the lash and make bricks and burn up our human time making bricks for Pharaoh. Ah, this, this is a, a very sad two verses a lack of faith here. Uh, you have caused great trouble. Moses, you are a troubler of the people. Oh, Pastor Moses, you're creating friction here. Why didn't you just leave us the way we were? And a pastor can never leave people the way they were. A pastor cannot stay the way he was. If we're truly led by God and we're going to lead his people, we, hey, you have to pray for us pastors. Pray for people that they will lead uh, that they will actually lead you to a different, to the pasture that God wants you to go to. God wants to take his people out of the Hebrew mud, mud hole and take them to the green pastures of Israel. And he's trying to do it, but boy, now and now their focus is on Moses. Moses is the bad guy. You've led us into a bad spot here. Well, God's the one that told him which way to go, and he went that very way. So good for Pastor Moses. Uh, bad on the people here. Sorry, guys, you, you're really missing. Uh, but anyway, deliverance is going to come anyway because of God's great mercy. So we'll, we'll carry right on tomorrow morning. But let's be uh, kind and generous toward our pastors. Also, let's make sure that they're led of God uh, because we can easily go astray. We need your help. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your spiritual leaders. Beware that moany spirit of moaning and groaning and grumping and complaining. And, oh, you've roused us from sleep, you know. Uh, bad. You're a bad person. A, a spiritual leader must rouse the people from sleep. God is calling them to do that, right? So good on Moses, and come on, you guys. This is this is this this is crazy. Leave us alone, that we may save the Egyptians. No, absolutely not. No. All right. Let's see what happens tomorrow morning at the showdown.